What is going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with the finale episode, potentially, of the Baltimore Americans franchise mode for NHL 24. We're 68 games into the season, two games above 500, and we have been pretty solid in our last 10 games, to be 100% honest, led by Maxi Pad Domi with 58 points in 68 games. We're going to play one Sim 5. Uh, let's get into it as soon as possible. If we make the playoffs, obviously we will continue on with the series until the playoffs are over. Hopefully we could win a Stanley Cup or something, but I don't know what is going to happen. It is March 11th, 2024, up against the Devils. We'll be jumping into the third period at 0-0 after one. Shots 9-6 to for Baltimore, and after two, it's one nothing Baltimore. Okay, let's do it. All right, so here we go, jumping into this one, having a bit of a strong start here. One to nothing as we enter the third period. We are the better team than New Jersey when it comes to defense. They got uh, they got the edge on us offensively, Ryan O'Reilly. Oh, he's going to win that draw. Back to Sammy Boy Gerard. Gerard gets it to Chernak. Chernak is looking for O'Reilly, trying to get in, and Jackie Boy Hughes actually takes him off his feet. After this, uh, after this video uh, goes live, we are going to be doing a Be A Pro, and then we're doing the much-anticipated second episode of the Custom League Franchise Series. Chernak with a nice play. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Yes, for Brat. It was, it was fun. It's fun seeing all those, like, randomized jerseys. That one ended up on the back of the net. Random teams, random jerseys. Somebody left a comment saying the Minneapolis Whitetails, easily the best jersey. I was like, you know what? I did really, really dig that one. And uh, New Jersey's coming on crazy strong right now. We're actually going to, you know, we're going to keep those number ones out for now, though. But, hey, man, the people want what the people want. So, Anchorage, here we are. Nico Heischer with the chance. They're taking shots on goal. Spencer Knight is there to cover that one up. You know what? We got to go with that number two offensive line. We're going to keep the number one defensive line out just for now anyway. They got full pressure on us. Oh, yeah. Spencer Knight was doing like crazy ninja moves, trying to trying to get those desperation saves. Vicky Olaf set up at 45 points, as you could see by the... The thingamadoodle there, and Gerard's got that. But as soon as you get the puck, I find that was a problem we had in past years of NHL that it seems like they fixed. It got better, and then it got worse again, where you pick up the puck and just, like, don't move. Nico Heischer, big shot. Nice stop by Spencer Knight, and here comes Chernak. Chernak, back that thing off to Maxi Pad. Maxi Pad looking for somewhere to go. He's going to find Vicky. No, they're just a little too aggressive. Arvidsson to Gerard. He goes for the poke check, and it's no good. And Sammy Gerard puts home his fifth goal of the season. And that, my friends, is a 2 nothing lead. I am not 100% sure, but it's looking like there's a chance he may have, like, a uh, born leader or something as one of his uh, <laughs> superstar abilities. <laughs> Mercer's got it. He's your nice stop by Spencer Knight and Brady Shea is trying to get that one out. We're being outshot, to, uh, what is it, 22 to 17. And here comes Max Domi cutting in front of the net. Big save by Akira Schmid. And he's going to cover that one up. We are over four minutes into the third period of this one with now a two to nothing lead. Who knows, man? Maybe we could put together like a really decent winning streak. Because if we could do that, I don't know, man. We, we might actually potentially be able to sneak into a playoff spot. It looks like the Metro is really weak in this. Uh-oh, Romanov actually lost position on his guy. Backing off, it's Dawson Mercer in front to Palat. Big save by Spencer Knight. Brady Shea, no. I was looking for my guy up the uh, in the neutral zone. Palat, get out of here, buddy. Romanov whipped that thing around behind the net, and Vicky Olafson's going to get there. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness, he gave it away. What a poke check by Spencer Knight and a delayed penalty against the Baltimore Americans. It'd be funny if that went into the empty net, but it did not. They're cycling well at the moment. Here's Heischer. Heischer in front, big, big slapper, and I don't know if Jack Hughes might have got a piece of that when we're trying to clear the puck. Shoot it, shoot it, kick it, do something with it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. We got those number one power play units out. Marino, boom. Take the hit, buddy. Lose that thing. Here comes Chernak. We got Husey tied up. O'Reilly trying to pull that thing out of the front. I'm just trying. I'm saying pass. Repeatedly saying pass the puck. Pick it up. Oh, damn it. Dropped it back. Way up to Jake Evans, who can't do anything with it. Marino gets it back to Hughes, and now New Jersey is on the attack. Bradder. Brings that one home. Gerard can't do anything with it. That could have been a penalty, but we clear the zone. 
Busey back to the point. Big block by Sammy Gerard, and he picks it up. Takes that one back, gets it up to Colin Blackwell, who can't do anything with it. Ooh, that might not have been the greatest time for a line change, but Colin Blackwell, the beauty himself, gets it over to Capo Caco. Caco up to Romanov, back to Blackwell. Blackwell, we didn't really have much to go with there. Romanov, just throw that one on net. We just need the shots, man, and you never know. Every once in a while, they just kind of sneak right through. Kako actually wins that fight right in front of Blackwell. What a save by Akira Schmid. And Jesper Bratt brings it through the neutral zone again, drops it off for Nico Heischer, who's dead to the world. He is having a lot of trouble getting deep in this one. Heischer, he backs that one off to Husey. Back to Carson Soucy. Big block, backhander, big save. And Tyler Toffoli picks it up now. Okay, we're, we're like halfway through the third period here. What do we got? Toss that one around the net to Jake the Snake. Jake Evans back to Tyler Toffoli. Up to Brady Skijay. Brady Shea, he's backing off. He finds Jake Evans, and we got Capo Caco up the ice. Right in front, big save by Akira Schmidt. And Caco almost got that one back. Here comes Miles Wood up to Kurt Lazar. Coming through the zone. Lazar, big shot. That one just caught Spencer Knight, and he was able to keep it out of the net. And here's Caco again. Nikita Zadorov just tossing, folks. That one ends up finding E-Rob. Gets around his man. Nice stop by Akira Schmidt. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eric Aula just about tossed that one into his own net. Oh, no. Zadorov, he's big, dumb, and slow, and he can't grab the puck. And here comes Ty Smith. Smitty. Oh, no. It's Giovanni Smith. Oh, man. Ends up with an unfortunate breakaway. Tried to toss it back to the point, and it's like Nikita Zadorov was just too slow. Just could not get there. Man, all right, here we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah, just dekes him out, showing that Giovanni Smith's got hands, too. Erob takes that wild slapper wide, and here comes Braden Conboy. Tries to cut in front of the net, and he can't get the shot. We're going to knock that one back to the corner. Can Conboy get there? Yes, he can. Right out in front. Oh, nice stop. Oh, and that was bad. I went for a poke check, and it was a clear trip. So with 6.16 to go in the third period, we are shorthanded. It is Braden Conboy going to the box. We picked him up early in the season. He was a scratch for a while, but since coming to the team, honestly, I really, really like Braden Conboy. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Two to one, but we're shot-handed. Can we get it back? Yes, we can. Oh, and Ryan O'Reilly, no look, grabs that one, but it doesn't make it to Jake Evans. And here comes Gustafson to Mercer. Mercer entering the zone. Jake Evans misses him. Mercer to Meyer. What a chance and a big save by Spencer Knight. Ryan O'Reilly. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Warping into the boards. We got to go for that line change. We got Evans just got throwing a little interference out there, trying to slow them down as they get towards our zone. We got Cal Foot playing D. Nice. Take that one away. Maxi Pad getting in everybody's business. That one doesn't make it through, but Palat gets the shot off. Spencer Knight, throw it into the corner. Throw it into the corner. Brady Shea gets it up to Maxi Pad. Okay, there we go. That wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but it still kind of worked anyway. Across to E Rob. What a save! Oh, we knocked it away from him. My stick's tied up, and I have no control over it. I uh, still got it, though. Can't make the pass. The game will not allow it. Timo Meyer bringing it down for New Jersey. Gets to Andre Palat to Dawson Mercer, and a big save by Spencer Knight. We got to clear this thing, man. All right, Palat back to Meyer. Meyer in front. Oh, he's just, like, walking around all by his lonesome. Brady Shea with a bad feed to E-Rob, but it still kind of worked out in the end. And this penalty hath been killed. Gustafson, big block, Meyer puts it home, Jesus, I think we might call a timeout, no, you know what, we're not going to, not yet, it's a tie game, we're tied at two, we were able to kill off that penalty, and then the New Jersey Devils did put one home, it is Timo Meyer's 22nd goal of the season, took a bad bounce off of, I think that was Colin Blackwell, maybe, no, or no, it might have been Sammy Gerrard, oh, when they change on you partway through, <laughs> Okay, so tied at 2, 341. Left to go in the game. I do not want to go to overtime in every goddamn game for the rest of time. Jesper Bratt's going to dump that one deep. Sammy Gerard picks it up. We didn't really have anyone to go to, but now we got Tyler Toffoli. Toffoli hanging onto that thing. Decides to go the opposite way around. And right in front, big save. Ryan O'Reilly tosses that one behind himself. Toffoli can't take it off of Bratt. And here comes Doogie. Doogie Hamilton gets it to Jack Hughes. Husey. Oh, Gerard stopped up at the wrong time, man. Right out in front, Timo Meyer, big block, another block by Fratton. And here comes O'Reilly. He's dead to the world. O'Reilly somehow holding on to this thing, gets it back to Chernak. Chernak's having trouble trying to move here. 
We're just going to whip that one back around behind the net. we got to put something in late here, man. Get it up to Vicky Arvidsson. Arvidsson can't get the pass across, and Anus Siegenthaler picks that one off, and Timo Meyer can't enter the zone. Siegenthaler's offside, but he sure brings it in, and Cal Foot getting knocked around. He takes it away. What do we got? Vicky Olafsson. Right in front. Ah, yeah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Palat, no, he sidestepped me. I wasn't able to get the hit off on him. We're in the final minute. Here comes Nico. Nico loses it to Zadorov. Back to foot. Zador like I said, Zadorov, the only problem with him is he's so goddamn slow. Vicky Arvidsson uh, took a shot off the crossbar and in. That's a bar down beauty, baby. Oh, Vicky with his 17th of the season. We needed that one. And with 23 seconds to go in the game, just does a little sidestep, little half piv through some traffic off the bar. Nakira Schmid kicks it backwards into his own net. Kako picks off that pass. And now here we go back into the zone again. Kako looking for anywhere to go. Jake Evans is not going to be able to get there. Lazar, we're entering the final 10 seconds of this game. Brady Shea, Brady Shea with a long bomber. Play that thing, Spenny. Okay, Brady Shea gets that one up to Warren Fogle, and that, my friends, is going to seal the deal. Six goals on the season. We expected a lot more from Warren Fogle in this series. But, you know, it is what it is. One second to go on the clock. It was, what, 1.1 to go on the clock. Warren Fogle with a beautiful puck pickup, throws it into the empty net. 4-2 to two victory for the Baltimore Americans. It'll be interesting to see... Uh, what the final shots and everything are in this game. It is over. Much needed win if we want to make that final late season playoff push. And Spencer Knight looking like Spencer Knight, if I do say so myself. Now, what were the shots in this game? They were 36 to 27 in favor of New Jersey, who went 0 for 5 on the power play, and we went 0 for 1. Man, he had himself a hell of a game. Spanny, 34 of 36. Great game. Ryan O'Reilly got his 19th by Tyler Toffoli and Victor Olafson. Sammy Gerrard with his 5th by Arvidsson and Olafson. Arvidsson with his 17th by Olafson and Foot. And War and Peace, man, got his 6th by Brady Skajay and Spencer Knight. Now we got five games to sim. Okay, so here we go. 69 games in. We are in a playoff spot. And we are still in a playoff spot. Christian Veselainen is available. Best lines. That is for the Miners. We are now officially out of the playoffs. It's us in New Jersey fighting for that spot. After that win, we overtook them in the standings. But now we got five to sim. First one's against the Oilers, where it is three to one after one. Frat and Domi and Convoy. All right. After two, boom, it's four to one. Maxi Pad gets another one. And after three, it's a five to three victory. Oof. So... Spencer Knight, not technically not a quality start, but Rodney whoops, Rodney Fratton with his 19th by Toffoli and Gerard before Domi gets his 21st by Kako and Erob. Brayden Conboy with his 9th by Warren Fogel and Jake Evans. Max Domi with his 22nd by Eric Robinson and Victor Arvidsson. Domi with his 23rd by Victor Arvidsson and Victor Olafson before we gave up two to the Oilers, but we're able to hold on in that one and get the much needed victory. Yet again, we should be back in a playoff spot. That was the 70th game of the year. I believe it was. Oh, Jesus. Now we're tied with the Blue Jackets and the Devils. All, the, all they do is win now. Frig. Okay, so let's see. That was that was good. That was really good. Two quick wins just like that. But now we got to go Lucas Dostal, and we're going to put Bartozak in the net. Now let's hope the youngster, Lucas Dostal, can get her done for us and get us a couple more wins. We're going to advance day, the 41-24-4 Dallas Stars. McDermott, uh, not on my team. Best lines as per usual. Domi still leading the parade now with 61 points on the season. We'll see if he can continue that, like, ridiculous scoring that he's had. But the Dallas Stars are a good team after one it is two to one for Baltimore. Convoy, I think that's double digits for him. After two, still two to one. So Lucas Dostal looking solid. And after three, four to two loss. Oh my goodness. So he allowed three on 28, and Dadanov got an empty netter. That sucks. Convoy with his 10th by Vicky Arvidsson and Erob, and Tyler Toffoli with his team leading 26th by Rodney Fratton, and Brady Shea before giving up four unanswered goals to the Dallas Stars. I, I'm very, <laughs> very unhappy about that, and we continue to be out of a playoff spot. Now, 
We'll have to go back to the edit line screen. We're going to have to put Spencer Knight back in the net and hope to God we don't end up falling off a cliff here towards the end. What? What? I put I put Bartozak in net and it automatically switched back to <laughs> Olivier Rodrigue. Um, yeah, when I put auto rotate goalies off, it wasn't a suggestion. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right, three of five. Three of five going up against the Los Angeles Kings. Here comes Baltimore. And after one, it is 0-0, zero, zero, but we're dramatically outplaying Los Angeles. After two, it is 0-0. Zero, zero, we continue to outplay LA. And after three, oh, no, it's a 3 nothing loss. Spencer Knight almost hit 900 save percentage. That is... Kind of alarming, and I'm not overly happy about it. View draft class. Should we? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Wow, we got, like, all the information on everybody. <laughs> oh, my. So, they're thinking, yeah, we're probably going to end up with, like, the number 12 pick or something. If we keep trending the way we're trending, I know that we're only, like, a couple of points out of the playoffs in our division, but as the as it stands in the league, being three or four games or whatever above 500, two games above 500, oh, boy, that does not bode well for us. 73rd and 74th games of the season will both be simulated before we jump in against the Montreal Canadiens. We're going up against a Buffalo Sabres team that is a perfect 10-0 and in their last 10. So they were three games below 500 when they started that streak. They are now seven games above. So after one... 0-0 zero, zero. after 2, 0-0 zero, zero. yet again. We get close to the playoffs, low-scoring games. And after 3, 2-1 two to one victory. It's Fratton and Toffoli and Spencer Knight, 36 saves on 37 shots. Again, great game for him. Huge comeback. Toffoli with his 27th by Fratton and Chernak. And Rodney Fratton hits 20 on the season by Sammy Gerrard and Tyler Toffoli, baby. And then Dylan Cousins just decided to screw up the... Uh, the shutout bid with three minutes left in the game. But Domi has not really been producing very much the, the, the last uh, last couple of games. We had Colin Delia. No, I don't want to claim Colin Delia. <laughs> so what we're going to end up having to do after we sim this game, we're going to jump into the Montreal game. Then we have to sim six games. And then we're going to jump into the final game of the season, see what happens. After one, it's two to two. Against CBJ, no goalie looks good in this one. Four to four. Yeah, the goalies are not looking hot in this game. And in the third, six to four victory. E-Rob with the empty netter. Merzlikens allows five goals on not 50 shots. <laughs> Braden Conboy with his 11th by Arvidsson. Before Tyler Toffoli gets his 28th by Cal Foot and Ryan O'Reilly. Vicky with his 18th by Domi and Shea. Ryan O'Reilly hits 20 goals by Gerard and Toffoli. So everyone in the top line's got 20 goals on the season. And then Ryan O'Reilly with his 21st by Toffoli and Chernak. And E-Rob with his 16th by Ryan O'Reilly. So, ROR, man. He very well may have overtaken the team lead in points. Hit continue. What are we at? It's no, it's Tyler Toffoli and Rodney Fratton's gone until March 30th. Ugh. I mean, it's the 24th, but we're so late in the year. I don't like that. So what we're going to have to do is put Victor Olofs in there. Capo Caco has been a revelation on this team, even on the third line. And uh, I think, yeah, look at this. Fourth line player, E-Rob's got 35 points this year. You got to toss him on that third line. And from there... Who do we have scratched? Wade Allison. All right. So, Allison, you're going to be getting yourself into a couple of games here. Man. But the next one is up against the not very good Montreal Canadiens. And we're back in a playoff spot. Rodney Fratton's available, but we're not going to play him yet. Um, I'm thinking what's going to happen is we're going to play this game against Montreal. Uh, then we'll probably sim the Boston game. And then we'll probably put him back in the lineup after that. But an MTL, baby. Two to nothing after one, and it's Vicky Olofsson with both of them. After two, it's still two nothing. Let's dive into this one. Wow, we're being outplayed. 
So despite being heavily outplayed by the Montreal Canadiens, we are ahead two to nothing. Lockdown defense, don't mind if I do, baby. Ryan O'Reilly at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Cannot beat Nick Suzuki on that faceoff. And Colton Pareko loses that one to Slavkovsky. Here comes, oh, damn it. I thought it was going to be Vicky Olofsson getting a fast break there. It's like, oh, hat trick time. Caulfield with a backhander. That one pops out in front, and that ends up just back to the point. Caulfield to Suzuki. What a glove save by Spenny. All right, here we go. Vicky, get that one up to Sammy Boy Gerard. He's a defender, and I threw it to literally nobody. All right, back off then. Here comes Karostin. Gets it to Uri. Uri Slavkovsky trying to get that one out of his own zone. Gets it up to goal Caulfield. Sammy Gerard, battle of the mini guys. Caulfield with an easy shot. Oh, no. Nice play by Eric Chernak to take that one away. What a feed up to Ryan O'Reilly. He doesn't have a ton of wheels, but he's got a partial breakaway. Backhander, and it's good. Oh, there it is, baby. Three to nothing. 22nd goal of the season for Ryan O'Reilly. Oh, baby. We needed that. We needed that. They were facing a ton of shots. But Spencer Knight... Has been holding very strong. Corpusalo rocking the number 69. Nice. Watching Montreal and seeing Karostin screws me up. Kirby Doc throws that one wider than that because it's like it's a Montreal Canadiens jersey and it says Karostin, but I swore to God as soon as the puck hit his stick, I swore I saw it say Kostitsin. <laughs> I was like, what game am I playing? I don't think there's any uh, Kostitsins left in Montreal or in the NHL for that matter. All right, here we go. Sammy Gerrard steals it away, and Vicky Arvidsson's got it. He's rushing down the ice now. Avoid your man. Try to hold on to the damn thing. Try to get that one across to Capo Caco, and it doesn't work. Good to have him up in that top six. Sammy Gerrard whips that one low on net, and Arvidsson cannot get there. Arvidsson back to Chernak. Chernak to Gerrard. Gerrard to Caco. Take the shot, and Eunice Corpusalo with the save, and he's going to cover it up. We got a delayed penalty coming. Can we touch it? Yes, we can. Okay, okay. They actually had a, a relatively decent looking chance there, but Maxi Pad Domi is going to sit for two or less. Hopefully sit for two. And hopefully we don't take a bunch more penalties. <laughs> I did notice that the penalties in franchise mode seem to be incredibly like one-sided either way. You know what I mean? It's it's like one game. Uh, your team will take just a stupid amount of... Your team will take seven penalties one game. And the other team will take maybe one. Uh, back off. Come on. Oh, nice pick off by foot. That one is easily taken away. Fogues has got it. And yeah, there you go. There you go. Eric Robinson. Gone to the box. It's a five on three. <laughs> but yeah, so your, your team will take like seven penalties. The other team will take maybe one. If they take any penalties, it'll be like one. But then it's like you'll jump into the next game and your team will take zero penalties. The other team will take five. You know, it's like it's super lopsided, like one way or the other. I did notice that. Oh, my goodness. Nice block. It's a five on three. This is like where the pressure is freaking on, man. Gets that one. Whips it way too hard. Brady Shade back off. That's going to kill a lot of clock right there. We're just trying to knock the puck off of them. Dvorak with a slapper. And Anderson went for the one-timer. And another save by Spencer Knight. We're almost six minutes into the third period. Let's go with the, uh, no, the number two penalty kill D. Uh, pe penalty kill everything. Unit. That's the word I'm friggin' looking for. Ryan O'Reilly back to Nikita Zadorov. And that one flew way up in the air wildly. And Ryan O'Reilly's dead to the world. We got to get fast line changes on Romanov. What are you doing? He dives. Big save by Spencer Knight. That was so dangerous. <laughs> Colton Pareko can't do anything with it. Maxi Pad Domi gets there. We're going to toss that one up to Sammy Boy Gerard. Gerard back to Domi. Domi entering the zone. He just got out of the box, and we just killed off a five on three. Wade Allison behind the net gets it to Gerard. Wine and fire, and a great save by Eunice Corpusalo. To Foley with a nice feed up to Olafson. Ryan O'Reilly 100% should not be on the ice. Look at this. Sammy Gerard in front. Great chance. Back to the point. Tyler to Foley. Wine and fire and hit the goalpost. And a delayed penalty coming against Montreal. Oh, you got to prove me wrong because I'm actually playing the game. Hey, eh? Chernak. Wine and fire. And that one took a funky hop. And Raphael Harvey Pinard is going to the box. We got a power play. We're going to have to use our second unit, though, because the top unit is Dedske. Here comes E-Rob on that second unit, makes his way in, gets it to Domi. Oh, nice shot and a nice stop. I was really hoping that that one was going to hit the goalie, bounce out, and go uh, straight to the other team. Empty net. Uh, does that mean it's four on four now? 
That uh, kind of seems like that's the direction we're headed in. Anyway, Suzuki gets that one. He's looking for somewhere to shoot it. Savard, that one's poked away by Spencer Knight. And yes, it is four on four. <laughs> uh, let's get the third four on four units out. Eric Robinson again. This guy's living in the penalty box in this game. Oh, Arvidsson's just flying right now. Again. I've, did they, like, nerf low shot on net? Foot. Well, boom. Slapper. That one goes wide. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my goodness. Final 10 minutes of the game. Karostin's, like, dead. Nikita Zadorov just went in for a hit on him. Let's tie our man up. Tie our man up. We're officially shorthanded. Caulfield walks in. Big save by Spencer Knight. Play this damn thing. Foot up to Arvidsson. Gets that one back to Nikita Zadorov. Zadorov back to Arvidsson. Oh, I didn't think his stick was going to re-enter the zone, though. And that penalty has officially been killed off. Oh, Cal Foot is so dead to the world. We got to whip that one around the net. Get someone with a little juice. I super did not see that guy coming. Holy Max Domi, you are so lucky you were still standing. Oh, man. Was that Wade Allison? Walks in, takes the shot. Nice stop by who do they have in net again? Wow, I have a bad memory. It's Anus Corpusalo, right? Is he even still in the net? I guarantee it's only three goals against. All right, nice play by Gerard to take that one away. And my dude, one of the more underrated uh, puck handling players in the NHL. That could have been a penalty. That was kind of late. But here comes Kirby Doc. I'm pretty sure I just went for a line change and new hook. Wow, Kirby Doc throws that one. It ends up luckily he was behind the goal line to just hit the netting. Matheson in front to Anderson. Takes the shot. Big block. New hook back to the point. Savard, that took 847 bounces. Oh, it's loose in front of the net. And here we go. Final six minutes of the game. Colin Blackwell gets that thing out. We got to get the defense changed. Uh, Blackwell, we're going to have to turn back. Get that one back to the point. Gerard, that one goes off a of body. And Braden Conboy is in front of the net. Wade Allison. Uh, yeah, we should probably get those number one, uh, that number one line out there. Easy save for Spencer Knight. Back around behind the net. Might have been a mistake, but we did retain control. Oh, and then we missed it. All right, all right, all right. Go for a line change. Conboy's going to stay out there and try and, like, do a little damage control. Caulfield, backhander. That had no hope of doing anything. I'm just trying to get back up in front of my net. My own players are not allowing me to do this. And Gerard with another big block, and that one hurt. That one stung. Victor Olofsson gets that one across to Ryan O'Reilly. We're in the zone. Can we get it across to Olafson with a backhander? Big save by Eunice Corpusalo, and that was our 30th shot of the game. Here comes Hoffman. He's got Romanov watching him. Tosses it to his man behind the net. Stetcher to Tierney. Nice stop by Spencer Knight. Play that thing behind the net, and Arvidsson gets it to Capo Caco. All right, two minutes. That's all we got. Two minutes. Back to Caco. Oh, and he can't sneak his way into the zone, and there's Tierney again. Chris Tierney gets that one up to Caden Gule. Guli over to Hoffman, loses that one to Romanov, and Romanov is going to be able to get this, well, not really, get this one out of the zone, and there's Raphael harvey Pinard. Wow, somebody get in front of this goddamn net. Whoa, that one hit a player, and it does manage to stay out of the net. Maxi pad, just wire it, dude. We got to get the number one D on. We got to get that next unit on, and there's Capo Caco back around behind the net. He's waiting for someone to come in. Whoop, right in front to Eric Robinson, and that one was almost loose. In front of the net, a desperation sprawl for Corpy, and he is able to hold on to it. So we are officially playing for Spencer Knight in this one. We're playing for the shutout. I don't know how many shutouts he even has this year. What, one? Maybe one? I know he's been playing infinitely better as of late. But here comes Denis Gurianov with 20 seconds to go in the game. Erob is really bugging him, keeping him uh, on that side of center. Here comes Warren Fogel. Warren Fogel just take the shot. Nice stop by Corpy. And, yeah, we're going to stop the play. And uh, let's go with the third pairing, third line, just to get some depth minutes. You know, it's only 10 seconds, but that's an extra 10 seconds ice time for these guys that don't really see the ice that much. You know, Warren Fogel, too. He gets that one right out. Uh, I was going to go for a low shot on Eddie Rob Evans with a backhander and crap him all. Corpy's going to save that one again. Oh, Evans is trying to fight people. And instead of going for a fight, he just pushed him across the damn world. 1.8 seconds to go in this one. And we're looking at another tremendous victory. Three to nothing over the Montreal Canadiens. There's no way they score a goal now. I mean, they're doing better than us in the faceoff dot. Pretty sure that they are out shooting us. Zadora! <laughs>
<laughs> with a final shot. I think the buzzer went. I don't even think it counts. But that was huge. That was a tremendous game played by Spencer Knight. Tremendous game played by the whole squad. Final shots, 44 to 33 for Montreal. They went 0 for 4. We went 0 for 2. Spencer Knight with a 44 save. Shout out. That is absurdity. And Ryan O'Reilly had himself a bit of a game. So Victor Olofsson with his 20 by Zadorov and O'Reilly. Then he got his 21st by O'Reilly and Sammy Gerrard. Then Ryan O'Reilly got his 22nd by Eric Chernak. All right. So now we're going to sim ahead to the Boston Bruins. And we got six games to sim to get to the final game of the season. So I don't, yeah, Ryan O'Reilly leads the parade. I don't know that we're going to bring Fratton back yet. Probably after this Boston game. Okay, so now we begin the long, arduous journey of simulating six consecutive games, hopefully not getting crazy injury problems. First up is the Boston Bruins, and then we'll probably get Fratton back. Oh my goodness, it's 3-3 three to three after one. No goalie looks good today. 5-3 to three after two for the Baltimore Americans. And even the third... Five to four. Spencer Knight gives up four goals on that one, but we do hold on for the victory. Max Domi with his 24th of the year by Kako and Shea. Kako with his 19th by Arvidsson and Zadorov. Kako with his 20th by Sammy Gerrard. Kako with his 21st by Romanov and Blackwell. E-Rob with his 17th by Maxi Pad Domi. And then Brandon Carlo got the only one for Boston. But Capo Kako, 21 on the year. Huge hat trick game for him. So that is absolutely fantabliocious. The only problem is now... We got to take him off that second line. Max Pad Domi, more responsive menus, right, EA? Now, the problem is Capo Caco is going to end up going back down to that third line. Caco going where Ira. Nope, I did that wrong. Uh, yeah, Caco goes with Ira. <laughs> but maybe we'll throw Olafson down there. Uh, yeah, you know what? Honestly, I think that's the way we're going to do it. I think I want to keep. Uh, I think I want to keep Kako on that second line, <laughs> and in net, uh, 3.04. We are going to give Lucas Dostal a start here. Olivier Rodrigue. We'll leave him alone, but we are going to put Dostal in the net real quick. I know it's not back to backs right now, but you know, like I just, I don't want to overdo Spencer Knight late in the season. I do want to get Dostal into at least one more game. We're going up against the 27, 42, and nine. Detroit Red Wings, who are not fantastic in their last 10. <laughs> so here we go. After one, oh, it's one nothing. Detroit, Lucas Raymond puts it past Ostal. After two, oh, it's two to nothing. Jesus, don't be a shutout. Come on. After three, it's a three to one loss. And Capo Caco gets the goal for us. That's what, 22 on the season for him now? Capo Caco with 22 on the season by Max Domi and Victor Arvidsson. So Max Domi will stay in that top spot on the team in points. Now, only four more games to sim until we reach the end. We are technically still in a playoff spot. Now let's go up against the Arizona Yotes, baby. Wait, no. I uh, forgot to put Spencer Knight back in the net. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's still Lucas Dostal. So let's uh let's get Spencer Knight in there for a good couple of games. I do want to end the season with Spencer Knight in the net, but uh I'm thinking we'll we'll play these two or three, I guess we'll do. Two or three with uh Spencer Knight. We'll put Dostal back in for one more, and then we'll finish with Spencer Knight uh in the game that we jump into. One to one after one. We're out shooting Arizona almost two to one after two. It is oh Jesus, Spenny. What happened, buddy? Should I have left Dostal in net? It's 5-1! 28 shots against! <laughs> Don't tell me we're going to fall off a cliff. Victor Olofsson with his 22nd of the year by Rodney Fratton and Ryan O'Reilly. And that is your lone goal for the Baltimore Americans. Oh, please tell me we're still in a playoff spot, man. We are technically, but the Penguins are now tied with us. We have a game in hand on them. And we're going up against the Philly Flyers. We're still in it. We're still in it. We're still 6-4 and four in our last 10. Four games above 500. Going up against a bad Philadelphia Flyers team. But these teams love to play spoiler. After one, it is 2-1 to one for Philly. Come on, man. Spencer Knight, it's like, what happened to you, dude? After two, tied it up at two. Tyler Toffoli with both goals for the squad. And after three, 
It's a three to two victory. Okay, Spencer Knight, bad first period, really, really brought his game back and just shut her down for the rest of it. Toffoli with his 29th by Ryan O'Reilly and Rodney Fratton, and then his 30th by the same two folks. And Alexander Romanov gets his eighth by Arvidsson and Capo Caco, who stays hot. He has been pretty unreal for us uh, towards the end of the season. And now we're coming, oh, oh, Jesus, Eric Chernak, not somebody you want to lose, not even a little bit. He is our number one, like, shut down defender. So I'm thinking we have to go with, like, uh, Alexander Romanov, we're going to toss him up there, and then probably Nikita Zadorov on the second pairing, which works, and then we got Alex Alexiev for that third pairing. I'm just going to say substitute in all lines. And, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll throw Dostal in for the first half of back-to-backs. We'll also throw Bartozak in in the AHL. Now let's hope we can, we can eke out something here against the Calgary Flames without our number one defenseman, Eric freaking Chernak. We got 84 points. Again, we're tied with the Pens, but we got a game in hand. And that's the final game of the regular season. So if we can beat them, I'm hoping our chances are good. But now we got Calgary after one. It's a 2 nothing for Calgary. That's not where you want to be at all. After 2, it is 4 to nothing. <laughs> After 3, it's a 5-1 to one game. Oh, my God. Like, this team just cannot score goals suddenly. We're getting, like, one goal a game. All right, who got it? It was Vicky Arvidsson with his 19th by Maxi Pat and Capo Caco, who is still continuing to get on the score sheet. I mean, I don't mind it. You know, I don't mind it. All right, so we got one more game to sim. Maxi Pad still leading the parade. We are still technically in a playoff spot, but we are going with Spenny for those final two games. And uh, we're going to be jumping in against the Penguins to end everything off. Bartozak out, Rodrigue in. Spenny, do not let me down, buddy guy. Here we go. 39, 35, and 6, taking on the 41, 33, and 6 new Joyzy Devils. So what do we got? What do we got? April 7th, 2024. And we got a power play early after one. It's two to one. Warren Fogle scored for us, but we allowed to, including a shorthanded goal. After two, it's three to two for the Jersey Devils. And after three, it's a four to two loss. Jack Hughes gets that. Man, I, th I don't know. I think we might be falling out. Warren Fogle got just his seventh of the year by Jake Evans and Victor Olofsson. Sammy Gerrard with his sixth. By Jake Evans. So Jake Evans had a decent night. He had a multi-point game. But otherwise, I mean, nothing really looked fantastic in that one. We got the final game of the year. We are now officially two points out of the playoffs. We're like seven points out of the playoffs suddenly. Like, oh my God, what happened here? <laughs> Chernak's available to play, but he is not fully recovered yet. So let's sim the first two periods against the Penguins. We're going to dive into this one and see what we cannot accomplish here. And... In Baltimore, after one, it is two to one for the Baltimore Americans. Kako and Alexiev score. After two, it's three to one. So I'm hoping we can get the win in this game, and it's Kako again. So here we go, finishing things off this season against a powerhouse compared to us, comparatively speaking. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins team Ryan O'Reilly on that opening faceoff for the third period, and he's not going to win it because Sid Crosby's going to take that one. We are doing this without our best defenseman, Geno Malkin. Back to Crosby, Sid. Over to Gensel. Gerard goes down for the block, and for whatever reason, crouch blocking is like an automatic tripping penalty. These days, I might have to go into the sliders in the uh, Custom League franchise and, like, turn, turn tripping down. Like I think I've already turned tripping down a bit, but I'm kind of thinking I might have to turn it down some more. <laughs> so here's Jake Evans. Can't get the faceoff. Wins a door off with a big... Big block there during that penalty kill. Let's whip that one around. Jake Evans is going to get there. Oh, I was thinking about trying to hit O'Reilly. Get that one back to the point. Zadorov with a big slapper, and that hits a body in front of the net. Evans back to the point. Back to Alexiev with a big shot. Did that hit the goalpost? And Alexiev gets it back. He's getting targeted by, yeah, targeted by a ton of Pittsburgh players. And here comes Ricard Raquel, and Jake Evans is there to stop that one. And he takes it away. Clear this thing down the ice. 
Oh, Jake Gensel gets sprung right off the faceoff, and he has got wheels for days and a huge save by Spencer Knight. Up to Colin Blackwell, shorthanded. He's got some wheels. Drop that one over to Capo. Caco with a shot, and it goes top shelf. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a hat trick for Capo Caco, who gets his 25th goal of the season. And it is a short-handed goal early in the third period of the final game. It's 4-1 for the Baltimore Americans. I do not believe we statistically can make the playoffs now. Oh, man. But it will feel freaking good taken down the Pittsburgh Penguins. I took Capo Caco, tossed him on the second line, and he has easily been our best player since I did that. All right, here we go. Gino Malkin bringing it in for Pittsburgh, and Capo Caco steals that one away. Whips it up to Colin Blackwell. Are we going to go for another shorty? Stopping up. Uh, no, 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 I can't stop up. All right, back to Romanov. Back to the point. Capo Caco. Whip that one on net. You got the hot hand. This power play is over. Kako again. Can he hold on to it? No. He's got Sid Crosby right on his keister. Gets it across to Cal Foot, who can't get the shot off. Domi gets it in front to Zadorov, and he loses it. Oh, my goodness. Domi did not want to turn around there, and it was almost a three-on-one. There's Pierre-Olivier Joseph. He's behind the goal line. Gets back in front. Zadorov easily takes that one away. Loses it, but we get it back again anyway. And Nikita Zadorov up to Max Domi. Gets it over to Capo Caco. Little drop feed. Super duper not what I just said to do. And Domi's doesn't have a ton in the way of wheels right now. Nice shot. Nice stop. And that one's bouncing all over the freaking place. Let's get rid of this. Oh, Arvidsson. Gets that one like a champion. Gets it over to Caco. Big shot. Nice stop. And no rebound on that one. Bouncing around in behind the net, there's Jeff Carter. Nice blocker save by Spencer Knight. Warren Fogel's getting a little rough there. Josh Archibald can't get that shot off. Up to Warren Fogel. Let's get this thing out of the zone. We're already approaching seven minutes in to the third period. Shots for Pittsburgh are now 20. So that's one goal against on 20 shots. Danton Heinen bringing it down. Who do, we got, uh, who do we got defending right now? I think that's Romanov, and that's a trip. I should not have held that defensive skill stick that long. That was all me. No, it was Alex Alexiev. Okay, I thought 27 was Romanov. What can we accomplish shorthanded? Oh, and he poked it off of Romanov. Jake Evans throws a little hit in the, in the offensive zone, and here comes Mikhail Granlund, who gets murdered, and that's a trip. Okay, okay, so it's going to be a referee show, is it? Four on four for a minute 30, 12.22 to go in the game. Jeff Carter heads to the box. Oh, that's a bad sign. They got the time to retire Carter sign. When it's like, when it's a 19-year-old, it's funny. When it's someone like Jeff Carter, who's what, 38, 37? Something, it's like, come on. <laughs> EA, you're just being a douche now. E-Rob, winding fire, and Tristan Jari's got to be sharp to save that one. Malkin blows through everybody. What a chance. Spencer Knight sprawled out like a lunatic. There's Rodney Fratton back in the lineup that we can see anyway. He has been in the lineup for a couple of games, but now at least we can finally see him. Oh, gets that one up to Ryan O'Reilly doing ninja moves. Gets it knocked off him. It's Oh, nobody went for it. Okay. Try to get around your man. Nice shot. Nice stop. Fratton with a good stick to keep that one in. Back to the point. Romanov back to O'Reilly. Uh, to, oh, if I would have got that one-timer off, that would have been good. Jeez. Oh, no, both our defenders just ran into each other like a bunch of dumbasses. And there's Sammy Gerard picking her up. Whips it around the other side and Fratton. Hey, you can reach for it anytime you want. That was really close. To Foley, to O'Reilly. Big shot. And Jeff Carter's going to pick it up. He's looking for somewhere to go with this thing. And Rusty... Gets that one up to Latang, Up to Granlund. We got Braden Conboy backing off, playing defense, and he does manage to get a block on that one. Man, oh my goodness. Ricard Raquel goes after Rodney Fratton. He does end up picking that one up. Back to Granlund, and that one, I believe, was saved by Spencer Knight. It was kind of hard to see. Fratton with a late hit, but it wasn't called. Granlund back to Latang, Latang to Raquel. They're, like, just impossible to take off the puck, too, eh? Okay, O'Reilly's getting tied up. Raquel gets it back. Dumoulin, come on. Gets it over to Latang. Big save. Oh, my. Spencer Knight all over the map. Let's get that up to Rodney Fratton. We got to hit center ice, and we just got to whoop. Oh, Alex Nylander right off the draw. Man, it was like I was waiting for the draw. I was putting my Pepsi down. I was gathering my, gathering my voice, you know. Oh, man. Alex Nylander with his third goal of the season. He had that in one game with Columbus. <laughs> He's actually looking pretty damn good in Columbus, isn't he? 
All right, here we go. Well, that was unfortunate. Jan Ruda takes a little bit of a hit deep in the zone. Zadorov picks that one back up. And yeah, Kako gets it up to Arvidsson, but he can't do anything with it. And Alex Nylander's got it again. Boom! <laughs> Oh, Nikita Zadorov. There you go. Throwing the hit. Up to Vicky. Kako's got it back. Takes the shot. Nice stop by Tristan Jari. Watch the stick. Skajay. It's that one up again to Alex Nylander, who's just not getting off the ice. There's Patches. Patches in the zone. Gets it across. Brady Shea with a good stick. And Capo Kako picks it up again. It's just about time to change these lines. Let's back it off to Zadorov and get it way up to Capo Kako. Bit of a suey on my part. That wasn't a very good pass. Get out of the way. Max Domi just, just risking the penalty box to do something with that puck. And there's Zadorov whipping that one to Heinen. Bad feed and a save by Spencer Knight. Petrie with a big shot. Nice stop by Knight. We're going to play it. We're going to play it. All right, here we go. Victor Olofsson whipped that one back over to Brady Shea. Up to Nikita Zadorov. Zadorov. To Fogel, up to Jake Evans. I was really hoping I could split the D. Didn't really work that way. And Carter's going to pick that one off all day, every day. And now here come the Penguins into our defensive zone yet again. Right out in front to Danton Heinen. And Josh Archibald was not paying attention. Pedersen, back to Petrie. Petrie likes to shoot. That was a crouch block, and it was successful. Oh, and Jeff Carter knocks us off it. Right out in front of Marcus Patterson. He gets a shot, and that one goes wide. They're going to hold the zone. Fogs, oh, he's trying to hit his man. There we go. We got it back. We got it back. Fogel behind the net. Okay, we're getting real late in this one. All we're trying to do is look solid as we hold off the Penguins. We're just going to whip that around the net to Victor Olofsson. Olofsson right out in front with a shot. That was on a weird half piv, so the shot didn't really have a whole lot of juice on it. Let's go with the third pairing, fourth line. Alexiev over to foot. Up to Convoy, who's not moving. Oh, that kills me. Tries to get the pass across to E-Rob, and that one is offside. There's a minute 17 to go. We are going to go with the number ones. Just to kill stuff off, Pittsburgh is probably going to pull their goaltender shortly after the final minute begins of this game. And when they do, we got one minute to try and put something into an empty net. Here comes Ruda. Ruda down to Patches, and the net is empty. Okay. Whip, whip that thing around to the other side to Foley. Oh, my. Gets that one up to O'Reilly. Up to Sammy Gerrard. Gerrard. Uh, easy. Easy goal. There you go. Seventh of the season for Sammy Gerrard, who wasn't as productive as we would have hoped, but that is five to two, the nail in the coffin. We are going to take down the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we are going to go with the, the fourth line, third pairing, just to kill things off. Again, just to get them a little bit. Ice time makes us look like we're real nice folks. We got a three goal lead in the final, like 20 seconds of the game. So... <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty good that we're probably going to win this one. Thir oh, sorry, 33 seconds left in the game. Colin Blackwell can't win that final faceoff, and there comes Jan Ruda. Ruda, and he loses it to Braden Conboy. Gets it back to foot. This one is 1,000% over. Tried to whip that one up to Alexiev. That's a defenseman. Get out of my goddamn way. Nick Bugstad bringing her down. Oh, yeah, Blackwell's not going to move him at all. Alex Nylander with a shot. Nice stop. Back around behind the net, Bugstad looking for somewhere to go. Gets it back to the point. Joseph to Ruda to Patches, backhander, Spenny, play that thing. Oh, I can't move. And how come the only place I could move was back towards the net? <laughs> Regardless, that's a strong way to end the season with a 5-2 victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Good game, I would say, by Spencer Knight. The shots were 30-28 to in favor of Baltimore. We went 0 for 6. They went 0 for 5 on the power play. Short-handed goals were scored. Sidney Crosby also got a goal. But Alexiev with his first of the year by Blackwell and O'Reilly. Capo Kako with his 23rd by Domi and Arvidsson. Then Kako with his 24th by Arvidsson and Domi. Uh, Kako with his 25th by Blackwell and Brady Shea. Before Sam Gerrard got the empty netter by Ryan O'Reilly and Tyler Toffoli. So Gerard with only seven goals in the year. We expected more, but that is going to do it for this series. Sadly, we I believe we missed the playoffs. Making my way downtown. Yeah, we ended up outside of the playoffs. Damn, 86 points in 82 games. We got 40 wins on the season. Maxi Pad had himself a great year for us. 68 points for the second line center. Not too shabby. 
24 goals, 44 assists, 68 points. He was a minus five. Another 68-point player was O'Reilly, 65 for Toffoli at 30 goals. Rodney Fratton, the kid, missed five games, still ended up with 20 goals and 58 points. Look at those attributes. He's pretty solid. But luckily, we get to see him for the next several seasons uh, in the YTHL. Olafson with a good year. Same with Arvidsson. Capo Caco, what a back half of the season, man. 25 goals, 24 assists. Erob with 36 points on the fourth line. Sammy Gerrard, only 30 points in 78 games. Conboy was surprising with 28. Romanov, you don't expect a ton of offense. He was pretty good. Uh, Colin Blackwell was a good story. Warren Fogle picked it up near the end, but had a really rough first, like, 50-something games of the season. It wasn't until later that he really picked it up. But between the pipes... Spencer Knight was 24-19-2 with two shutouts, a 907 and a 3.06. His numbers did improve quite a bit. And then backing him up, the 1B was Lucas Dostal, 12-17-4 record with two shutouts, an 887 and a 3.63. Not what you want to see whatsoever, but he took on way more than he should have. Anyway, let's check out and see who took it across the entire league. It was Johnny Goudreau with 110 points. Nikita Kucherov had 56 goals for 108 points. Point with 108. Stammer with 54 goals and 105. McKinnon with 105. Pasta with 103. Crosby with 103. Mashand with 100. And Patty Line with 94. Also 54 goals. So those are your top nine players in the National Hockey League. Oh, man. So I guess now the only thing really left to do would be to uh, hit the calendar, simulate on ahead, see who wins the Stanley Cup. I guess I suppose that's all we really can do. We'll go to June. What should we go to? June 6th? Ah, the Stanley Cup's usually awarded by then, right? NHL season's over. AHL season's over. Fail. 33. We didn't have 33 sellouts. Dylan Sandberg. Uh, we're going to say best lines. And we're just going to sim on ahead. Roster management. I said best lines. Let's just go with that. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see who ends up in, like, the Stanley Cup finals and see who takes it. We got Calgary and Colorado. View the draft class. Um, nah, there's no point. Buffalo and Washington. Calgary and Colorado. And the Stanley Cup goes to the Buffalo Sabres. <laughs> Year one, baby. The Calder Cup goes to the Hartford Wolfpack. Wow. So that's different. Salary cap goes up way too much as per usual. Uh, but we don't care. Anyway, 69% of the uh, uh, tickets sold. So I suppose let's go and take a very quick look at the awards let's see who got all of the awards across the national hockey league team awards the buffalo sabers win the stanley cup so there you go the president's trophy goes to the tampa bay lightning the clarence campbell goes to the avs and obviously the whales goes to the sabers let's look at individual awards where goudreau wins the art ross the Hart trophy goes to nikita kucherov the norris to kale mccarr yet again the Lady Bing to David Pasternak. Okay. The Calder, Rodney Fratton, baby. Beats out Connor Bedard. The Smythe to Tage Thompson. There you go. That's cool. The Vesna goes to Jacob Markstrom, who also took the William Jennings trophy for fewest goals against. The Masterton goes to Mark Eduard Velasic. You know what? I kind of like that one. Uh, the Jack Adams goes to Cassivi from Arizona for Coach of the Year. The Selkie goes to our very own Ryan O'Reilly. I like it. Nikita Kucherov with the Ted Lindsay and the Maurice Richard Trophy as well. So Cooch cleaned freaking house when it came to the awards. So we'll go to view contracts. Did, does it show if anyone grew yet? Yes. O'Reilly went to 87. Toffoli still 87. Chernak 85, Domi jumped to 85, Gerard 85, Arvidsson 84, Cap, Capo Caco jumped to 83, uh, 84. He went to 84 overall, and he has a two-year contract worth 2.2 million, Brady Skajay, Rodney Fratton. It still says 83 overall. I'm going to throw it out there and say he'll grow in the offseason. I expect him to be around 85, 86. He was very good. Who else do we got? Zadorov, Erob grew a little bit. Evans grew a little bit. Fogues dropped a little bit. Uh, Wade Allison stayed the same. Blackwell, Foot, Paling, Jujar Kara, who I completely forgot about. 
Uh, when it comes to goaltenders, Spencer Knight jumps to 86 overall. And Lucas Dostal jumps to 78. Again, I do expect that to go up a little bit. I just really wish Spencer Knight had a little more poise than that. But, I mean, it's all a moot point anyway. So, you know what I mean? It's like, it's regardless. This series is now over. We're going to do the custom league. That is 100% what we are going to focus on. Now, it has been very fun making this series. But I have to bid you farewell on this one. Ah, oh, that's going to do it for me for this. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have yourselves a good one.